is just going to be a quick video regarding a request uh, that a um, subscriber made on YouTube. Basically, I'm going to show you how to set up this uh, arena uh, add-on. So this is a combination of S Arena and Gadi SCX. Now, I just want to state I am not the best at PvP. I'm still very much learning um, and having quite a hard time in solo shuffle. But um, what I do like about this is that I can see all the CDs and I can see the trinkets and the DRs here and it's all in one place. Now I know you can use Omnibar and that's down here. I used to use it in the past, but since I've used this I feel my UI is just a lot cleaner. Um, and again, I'm all about the minimalist approach. So let me show you how I actually set this up. So hopefully you can um, do this and tweak the bits that I have to make um, to make it right for you. So first of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna load up S arena okay and then you're gonna drop down where it says layout and you're gonna click Zayu so when that's loaded up okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to show you the settings that I've got so you can actually see um, and then I will share the um, export codes which I believe um, I can do oh no there isn't an export code so I will show you my settings and then you can go from that so Basically, with S Arena, the main thing you want is the Zayu, uh, the Zayu layout, and then in your global frames. Uh, so we'll do do the global frames first. So your Arena frames want to be always show, your percentage turned off, use class color. Um, now you can show names there, okay, but I haven't turned off. Now you don't really need to see names in Arena; it's not really important. People just tend to refer to the class. Now, diminishing returns, you want all of these, okay, turned on. And racials, you want all of these turned on. Now, going over to the layout settings, what I want you to do um, is, if I just go through all these, you can see my um, my actual size of uh, what I've got and um, spaces, um, spacing that I've got between it. So, if you want your S Arena to look so the S Arena is this bar, the trinket, the DR, uh, and the casting bar. Then copy these settings. So um, there's the casting bar settings that I have, the racials, the trinkets, diminishing returns. Okay. Now, what I actually may do just because I want to space it out a little bit better is I may actually put that to 60 and then you guys can actually see how I how I edit these um, and I have wanted that to be a little bit more spaced out just because I've felt it's a little bit too uh, too busted. so when you've done all these settings what we're going to do is we're going to now go into Gladius EX and this is where um, you know the the majority of the um, editing is actually done so you're gonna type slash gladius ex i spelled that wrong so and then when this comes up the first first thing you're actually going to do is go to testing and click test free be free so then what we're going to do is um first of all make sure on your general settings you have lock frames off hide cell frame show party frames take that off because when you first load it in you will see two and it is very confusing okay so turn that off um, you don't want advanced options you just want to show arena frames so with that ticked we then move on to um, arena and there is a little pause button so we're going to highlight that and what I want you guys to do is I want you to go through every single um, section here and I want you to click um, enable sorry untick enable module so you're gonna go through all of these the only one you're not going to do it on is cool down so you're going to go for everyone just disable all of them okay then what we're gonna do um, we'll move that over there we're gonna go to general okay now in general what we're going to do is this th this is where the the magic happens you're gonna to come to this bit here that says frame background color and you're going to turn this right up okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to increase this so bar width yours will be set uh, larger than mine 
and you then go and set up and you'll notice a black bar here this is what allows you to move this around okay so the trick to actually hiding it is making it transparent and shrinking the size of the sphere that enables you to move it so then what you're going to do is you're going to i like to drag mine so they're just over the top like this you see and then i think the last one is just just behind that which is actually really annoying so i'm might just have to increase the height of that which is kind of annoying so what you might want to do is just move them up like this this is what i did when i first did it move them up like that shrink the squares down to as small as you can um, i think five is like like what I tend to have my so five pairs so they're like a little dot then all you're going to do is you're going to move them there if you want them like the same as mine that there and this there okay so just above like that and what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the frame color and you're going to drag this bit all the way down okay so now you can't see it um, then what I would advise, oh, what have I just done there? Well, I, I, I've just broke it. Um, let me just set these up again really quickly, sorry guys. Um, right, so, I mean, I suppose this people can, can see, uh, you know, just in case I was going too fast, um, what exactly I'm doing, so that there, that there. Okay, right, so when you're happy with that, like I said, drag that down. Okay, go to OK. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to call downs and you want to go to um, call downs, go right to the bottom, PVP trinket, and you want to turn all of these off. Okay, so you want to untick all of these so you're not seeing duplicating the trinket that you've already got in this arena. And then what you want to do you want to go through each class okay and you want to tick various um abilities that you that you want to track so for example i want to track chrono loop i want to track nullifying um i want to track i uh, sleepwalk and what i'm bothered about um uh, what else one they didn't embrace, not really too fussed about. We do want to track Emerald Dream, actually. But we can't seem to see that. Um, but yeah, anyway, track what you um, um, what you want. Uh, and obviously, you can you know change it. You can add some stuff, um, and you can uh, you know change whatever you want here. But this is that that is basically how how you make this it's really simple really easy i'm sorry if this uh is a little bit confusing uh but it's been a while since i've edited this uh so yeah if this has been helpful guys please do follow me on twitch and subscribe uh comment uh, and like the video as this really helps me um i stream over on which generally three to four times a week in the evenings at 8 p.m. UK time. So if you've got any questions, please jump in the Discord or ask me when I'm live. Thanks for watching, guys.